and gentlemen to the Wrathful Gaming channel if you're watching this on YouTube. This is Wrathful Gaming's Metal Gear Solid 2. This is Wrathful Gaming's Metal Gear Solid 2 gameplay. I'm just going to save real quick. Alright, now that that's done. Welcome to our second episode. Unless you're watching this live, then there was never an interruption for you. <laughs> so now that we have the USB compact and all that good stuff, and we figured out some things about the ship, like who it's being commanded by, now we can head... Oh! There's a camera in there. Now we have to head back down to get some photos of Metal Gear Ray. But first, we gotta put our little friend over here to sleep. That will disable the security system. So now we don't have to worry about that anymore. And we can go in here to get some more ammunition. Some more USP ammo. stand in front of that camera, not yet anyways, until we use some chat. There we are, that jams up the cameras. Now we can continue on down toward the uh, bottom of the ship. AKA the lower holds. Chaff grenades. And if we come over here, we can also grab another ration out of here. Alright, I'm gonna head back out. And because I really don't feel like crawling against the wall, we'll throw out another chaff grenade. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. Alright, head back down again. Oh, got an enemy over there. Freeze. <gasps> okay, so now we're going to want to head out here. See, the game does lag sometimes. I'm, I'm not exactly sure why. I love that. Hmm? Take this guy over here. Hiding spot over here. <laughs> <coughs> All right, let's head over this way. And see if there's anything. Oh, you know what? There is something else we can grab. A lever's on a ration in here. Yep, sure is. Grab that ration, and then we can head back down over here. Sleeping on the job, huh? Ah, oh, that door is broken. <laughs> and we definitely don't want to go back outside. So we'll have to go through here. Whee! No, just a little statue. Also, if you shoot that statue, 
well, we're discussing first. As I was saying, if you if you shoot at that little raven statue, it, it will fire, and the bullets can, believe it or not, they can they can hurt you, which is, in my opinion, which is pretty damn funny. Cause watch. I don't know if it has to be a real bullet. Oh nope, there he goes. Oh, they used to be able to hurt you. Freeze. <coughs> oh. Take him right in here. Wow, it's still firing. Put you right in that locker. And because I believe in cleaning the joint up, I'm going to put this guy in another locker. <laughs> there we go. There you go, buddy. That one's locked. What about this one? Oh, empty. Right in the eyeball. Freeze. Whoa. Ah. I love that. Freeze. Whoa. <laughs> Head down here, we can grab another ration. How many of those do we have now? Oh wow, we have ten we have full on rations now. <laughs> Oh, there's my life bar. Freeze. Huh? Oh. Alright, the one up here has been neutralized. <coughs> I'm pretty sure we can go this. Oh, wait a minute. Not the USP bullet pull. Pretty sure we can go up here. There's another door. Now when we go this way, we get a cutscene. Repair of the entrance way to the engine room on the port side is complete. We'll return to position following patrol of the small room on the port side. You won't. You're gonna come with me. Oh, good. There's already an open locker. How convenient. There's another Yes, I know. Alright, so this we have to do carefully. Alright, that was the center one. We can hop up on here. One more set of sensors, and that one is right there. And that's how you get through that. Just three separate sensors. Put a bullet in each one. Arizona Bridge checkpoint passed. All non-essential personnel report to the holds in 10 minutes' time for the scheduled briefing session with the Commandant. You are ordered to continue manning your post until that time. <laughs> I 
I know that there's a guard up here somewhere. Oh, got him right in the head from that distance? Nice. I know it takes a little while, but I always do my best to remove the corpses or sleeping beauties. Even though the game is lagging right now. See, right here it's not lagging. to the next area. <coughs> Alright, so I believe that we're going to hit a cutscene pretty soon. Where is it? Yep, there. is also under our control. We are on the foredeck, about to descend to the holds. Sir, the Marine Commander has started his speech already. We will complete the preparations before the end of the speech. All communications to the holds have been severed. No one is aware of our presence. Let no one down into the holds until we are out. Yes, sir. We will secure your exit, with our lives if necessary. There is one more thing. Yes, sir. My daughter, keep her safe. Yes, sir. game is lagging.
Who's there? you were with the colonel. What the? I'm wondering why... Hold on, guys. Snake, are you in yet? Have you made it to the holds? It's taking longer than I expected. We've already passed the Verrazano Bridge. All right, we'll use another recovery point. They may be planning to change course. What? The exits to the deck are all sealed. What are they planning? If they get Metal Gear, we're going right off the fringe. You're all familiar with the Shadow Moses The men the down here are definitely Marines. The current state of nuclear... If the deck is sealed off, they have no way of knowing that the ship's been taken over. I'm not interested in fighting these guys. The weapons won't do me much good here. Can you see Metal Gear? No. I'll have to go around to the bow. They have some serious defenses here. I doubt the recent rivals want to blast their way through the Marines either. Wonder where they're headed? I don't know. Not the beach, that's for sure. Okay, Snake. Let's go over this one more time. Use this camera to get photographic evidence of the Metal Gear prototype. Now do your thing and take pictures that speak louder than the government's plausible denials. We need four shots. Metal Gear from the front, front right, and front left, and a close-up of the Marine Corps marking. Marking? There should be a Marine's insignia on the body of Metal Gear. Just let someone try explaining away a clear shot of that. All right. There's actually one little thing. Just spit it out. I'm used to things going wrong. It looks like someone's monitoring our transmission. Who? I don't have a clue. All they're doing is watching. It would creep me out less if they tried to interfere with our communications. Could it have something to do with that cipher we saw? Maybe. I've switched the encryption protocol for our burst transmission for now. What I want to do is use a different method for sending these photos, just in case. Instead of using the codec? Exactly. There's a workstation in the southeast corner of the block where Metal Gear is housed. I've made arrangements so that you can send the pictures from the machine. Arrangements? I hitched a ride on Link 16 into U.S. military's proprietary network, managed to get into that workstation, and overrode a part of the system software so I could remote install a little app I wrote. Why bother with anything that complicated? No, it's pretty simple, really. Look. All you have to do is stand in front of the machine and push the action button. The app will automatically launch and download the image data from the camera, split the files, and encrypt them individually. The data packets can then masquerade as... Okay, okay. So all I have to do is push the action button in front of the computer once I have the pictures, right? Well, sure, if you put it that way. And one more thing. The Commandant's already begun his speech but you need to get the pictures before he's done talking. Otherwise, they'll spot you, okay? How much time do I have? I hacked into his personal files and took a look at the text of that speech. I'd say you have seven more minutes. Longer if he throws in a joke or two. A seven-minute time limit, huh? Remember, Snake, just the photos, okay? With these kinds of odds, I won't be making any sudden moves. But that doesn't mean we can just let Metal Gear be hijacked. Okay, okay, but first the photos. All right, we'll deal with the rest when we get there. Stay low.
At the moment, every industrialized nation on the globe All knows right, the specifications for Metal Gear. Worse yet, <coughs> so, so do a number of rogue states. <coughs> Let's get all these shots. Whoops, no, that's not what I want to do. They are okay. working on deploying their own Metal Gear boys to up. compete with the U.S.'s nuclear strike capability. The world is about to see a swarm of these Metal Gear derivatives. We <coughs> well, the first thing I'm going to do when I get down to this ladder is I am going to end this episode the only thing that and possibly the live stream for now. I'm getting quite tired and this game is really gear. lagging hardcore right now and I'd like to figure out why. Okay, so first we With just have to get by these guys. The hundreds, if not thousands of Which is fairly straightforward. We should be able to do that much now. All over the world are no longer a threat. The blind rush to nuclear proliferation will be contained. And it will be the Marine Corps and our ray that will you know what? accomplish no. this. Yeah, it's going to be How really is this difficult not for me to do right now. Oops. <coughs> so I'm going to break it out in the save. episodes. All right, folks, thank you very much for watching this live stream on the Rathco TikTok page. Please be sure to click on over to our YouTube channel. Please be sure to click on over to our YouTube uh, channel, Rathco Gaming, to see the replays of every single live stream of this game, every single episode that we've got. I am your host, Robert Robbie Rath, and this has been a 2024 Rathco Corporation production. Please be sure to like and subscribe, turn on all notifications for both our YouTube channels, Rathco Gaming, as well as Rathco Outdoors. Please keep your hands and feet inside the ride at all times. Please be sure not to drink and drive, text or drive, talk and drive, or any of that good stuff. Remember to drive sober or get pulled over, uh, fasten your seatbelts, all that good stuff. Anyways, watch out for zombies and Umbrella and the Umbrella Corporation, all that good stuff. Okay, well, I think I covered everything. Thank you all so very, very much for watching. Wrathful Corporation will be nothing without you, and we'll see you next time. Later.